Hey, hey, Isu, you're watching The Flash. I'm Mo, and this is Matt. Hey, Mo, I didn't know you were participating in Movember. What do you mean? There's a month to celebrate my greatness? Not exactly. Mo means mustache in Australia. I'm not really sure what you mean by that, but if you're confused like me, hopefully Mr. Franco can clear things up for you. G'day all you Mo bros and sisters out there. If you didn't already know, I'm from the land down under, and I'm here to tell you about an exciting month coming up. Next month, Movember. Originating in Australia, Movember is now making its debut here this year in the USA, where for one month, men from all across the nation grow their moustaches, or mows as we like to call it, for 30 days to raise money and awareness for men's health. For some of the Eastview staff, including myself, Movember is a great chance to raise money for research into this year's Movember cause, the Prostate Cancer Foundation. I thought it'd be fun to uh, grow a moustache, which I've never done before. Each year, prostate cancer affects over 30,000 men in the USA alone and is a disease that is not widely recognised amongst the general population. Here at Eastview, prostate cancer has affected our school's community. My grandpa was diagnosed with prostate cancer recently in early August-ish and they're doing some tests right now to see like what they can do to work on it. We're still looking for more blokes to grow and groom their mows this Movember. So if you'd like to find out some more info on how you can do this or if you'd like to help raise money towards this fantastic cause, please visit Movember.com or contact me, Mr. Franco, in the TV studio. I mean, come on, jump on the bandwagon here. It's just a mustache. Signing off for The Flash, this is Franco. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy! Thank you, Crazy Ozzy. I hope to see a lot of mustaches around school next month. I don't really have a mustache, Matt, do I? Huh. Huh. Anyways, the girls' volleyball team has been working hard this year. Maddie found out how their hard work is paying off. As the fall sports season is coming to an end, team members, along with fans, are anticipating an excellent performance from the volleyball team in the section tournament. This year's team has quite a few advantages over years that, or teams that we've had in the past because the, we do have a lot of athletic ability and girls with a lot of experience on our team, and that's going to bring us a good edge into the section tournament. It's not only their athletic ability, but also motivation of the team that will help them advance in sections. This year our team has done very well because we have a lot of young, ta young talent on the team and they really brought a lot and just team chemistry and everything's really good. I think we have a really good shot at sections this year. We play Rosemont on Thursday and then if we win that we play Lakeville North. And if we do well and just push as hard as we can and play like I know we can, we're going to do pretty well. The coaches and the players aren't the only ones with high hopes for the team. This year the fans have been more supportive than past years. I like going to the volleyball games because the team is really good this year. And you should all come out to the section games that start this weekend because it's fun to watch and you can catch a shirt. So come support the girls tonight in their first section game. Reporting for The Flash, this is Madison. Thanks, Maddie. Don't forget to, forget to keep up the great support tonight in the main gym. So, Mo, besides the volleyball game, what are you going to be doing this weekend? Well, I was thinking about getting into the Halloween spirit, but I'm not sure what to do. Eric has some suggestions for your Halloween week. With Halloween right around the corner and fall in full effect, I went out to find out various kinds of entertainment when doing homework just isn't cutting it. The first activity on the list is the traditional pastime of carving pumpkins. Step 1. Buy a couple pumpkins at your local grocery store. Also, be sure to pick up a carving kit to enhance the look of your pumpkins. Step 2. Cut off the top and gut your pumpkin. Step 3. Pick out a template and carefully cut out your design. And finally, light a candle and admire your masterpiece. Next, a more family-oriented activity is to visit your nearest apple orchard. Applewood Orchard, located off of Cedar and Lakeville, is a perfect place to spend a Saturday afternoon. Finally, our last suggestion is the high school favorite, Trail of Terror. Although it is a 35-minute drive, the Trail of Terror offers an abundance of food and entertainment. The $15.95 admission fee is worth the variety of activities they provide, such as four different halls of horror, live music, rock climbing, karaoke, the haunted hayride, and the three quarters of a mile indoor maze. If you plan on going, be sure to get there early to avoid waiting in long lines. Signing off for The Flash, this is Eric. Those are some great ideas, Eric. I can't wait to try them out this weekend. So, to make up for thinking I have a mustache, you're coming with me this weekend, right? Well, some friends and I already went out and had some Halloween fun. Stick around for the credits, East for you to see what I mean. See ya. Bye.
Yeah. yeah. Why not? It's, it's Halloween. Halloween. We'll take money. Well, we don't have any candy, but I found an onion and some popcorn. Oh, I love onions. Thanks. Here you go. Oh, thank you. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Honestly, hi. Trick or treat! Oh, cute. Oh, cute. <laughs> Trick or treat! Trick or treat! Hi, treat. trick or treat! Thank you. Oh, thanks. Do you have dog? Yay! So what'd you guys all get? Um, I got some mushrooms. I got some soup. Fruit leather. Ew. You guys, we didn't even get anything good. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. This is delicious. What is did you say? What is that? An onion. This is Ugh. so good. 